as we celebrate this uh, feast in honor of Saint Apollinaris. You know, he, first century uh, disciple, say, legend has it that he was a disciple of Saint Peter and then went to Ravenna. Uh, it was a, at that point in time uh, a great uh, uh, community center, city. And he went to witness to the Lord Jesus. He said that he, um, through Jesus, of course, uh, allowed many miracles to take place through him. Uh, many were cured. And, of course, the authorities at that point in time, the pagan priests, became jealous. Uh, and he was in contention with them his whole life. But he always remained faithful to God until his old age. And it was in his old age that he was given the martyr's crown. Why we were read today. Witnessing. How do you and I, how do we witness? What are we called to do? Well, you know, Jesus is saying, you know, don't look for signs. You know, I think we all think we're not supposed to do that. But how many of us from time to say, just show me, Lord. Huh? Or if you do this, then I'll do that. You know, kind of um, compromising with God. Can't do that. I think the, uh, the answer comes in uh, the first reading from the book of the prophet Micah. Huh? You've been told, oh man, what the Lord requires of you. And it's at the very end. That only to do the right, to love goodness, and to walk humbly with your God. To walk humbly with Him. huh? Not behind Him, not in front of Him. To walk with Him. And He will give us the direction and grace that we need to be able to follow Him and His truth, His goodness, and His love. Jesus says to those scribes and Pharisees, I know sign will be given it, given you accept the sign of Jonah. Just as Jonah was in the belly of the whale three days and three nights, so the Son of Man, he's speaking about himself, after his suffering and death on that cross, will be laid in a tomb and descend, he even say it in their crew. You know, when I was a kid, a long time, I could never figure out why. We say he then descended into hell, and I said, why would God go to hell? I mean, you know, didn't you ever think of that when you were little? And then, of course, they changed it. and said he descended to the dead, and it's kind of an equivalent kind of a thing. Um, those that were in uh, hell, it wasn't the hell of damnation, but rather it was that underworld, and that's what the, the Jewish people thought, huh? It was a place that was really indescribable, indescribable. Um, but Jesus goes there to free the dead and to open the gates of heaven for them. Then he ascended from the dead. And for 40 days, of course, we celebrate you know, his presence upon the face of the earth until his great glorious ascension to sit at the right hand of the Father to do what? To pray and intercede for you and me, his church, until he, will co until he comes again in all his glory to judge the living from the dead. And so we ask God to help us through the intercession of St. Apollinaris. You know, another saint, St. Rommel, um, you know, said that in a vision, he showed Rommel uh, to be a, a monk. And so the, that uh, monasticism would have become his life. In doing so, he would earn uh, the title of saint. And so we ask God too. Not so much that we live a monastic life, but rather that we live lives that are faithful in our thoughts and our words and actions to God himself. And so it's worth repeating the end of the passage from the prophet Micah. Only one thing we have to do, only to do the right, to love goodness, and to walk humbly with our God.